what's up? Alright, so we have a question here. What's up, everybody? How you doing, man? Okay, cool. So now let's go question number two. So question number two. So if you face on my channel, make sure you click the like button, subscribe. Let's go to the question without wasting time. Uh, so man, save the question for me, please, man. Hey. Let's go to the business. Let's not waste a lot of time. Let's go to the business. So we have a y equal to uh, root x, 5x squared plus 1. So I'm going to say first and foremost, when you differentiate, it's not good to leave yourself in a root, right? So make sure you write to the power. So if somebody gives, let's say, uh, root k power and 2 and our bands. So this time I say k, you see this is like over 1. If somebody say 2 and 2 over 1 is the same thing. If somebody say k and k over 1 is the same thing. So since it's m, I'll say m over 1. And then when you want to write to the power, you flip it. So this is like 1 over m. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'll say solution. So this time you say y equal to five x squared plus one. So this is like over one. So say one over x. That's the first step. In the second step, like I say on the previous questions, whenever you have something with the power, apply loan, please. Okay? Don't differentiate straight away. Okay? Uh, yeah. So make sure you apply loan through. Out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Apply loan throughout. So I'm gonna say, okay, since I have a power, the other function of the power apply loan. So it's like uh, loan of y equal to both sides. When you apply loan, you apply both sides. Loan of, so here we have a 5x squared plus 1, and then we have a 1 over x. And take power to the back. You see, you take a power to the back of the loan. So this is gonna be loan of y equal to 1 over x, and then multiply by loan of. 5x squared plus 1. So now from here, now we can do product rule. Product rule is applicable here because we have the first function and the second function. So since you want to get dy, dx, dy, dx. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to differentiate left hand side with respect to x. So of ln of y in the right hand side, I'll do the same thing. d, dx, d, dx of 1 over x but uh, since I want to differentiate let's go multiply by ln of 5x squared plus 1 so this is a product rule you know what I'm saying this one is a product rule because you have a product the two functions product the first function and product the second function product like I say if somebody give f times g and then differentiate means there's a product the first function second function put the face on constant differentiate the second one then you plus now you do in reverse means the second one is going to be constant and then differentiate the second one so i'm going to do the same thing same game here so how i'm going to do that let's go so let's do the same game here man let's play the game for product rule so when you differentiate here ln of y i'm going to say take whatever is in front of the ln differentiate so you differentiate y you get one over over exactly the function you have it here but what did you differentiate here is y so that's what we say d y was differentiated over dx equal so here you cannot differentiate separately because the product the two function so you're going to have to use the product rule so product rule means i'll say the first one put it constant and then differentiate the second which is five x squared plus one now we say put the first one constant differentiate the second one okay differentiate the second one now you say plus now take the second one as a constant now is each time so this is going to be constant now and then differentiate the second which is one over x so one over x since i want to differentiate let me raise for characters like one over x meaning this is like one over x means x is power one x power one means x so this time you say x power negative one why do that so you can make my life easy when i differentiate so this is like x power negative one Okay, so now here we go. So here we're gonna have a one of y times dy dx equal one over x multiply. Like I say, whenever you have a ln of a function, let's say g of x, and then you want to differentiate. So when you differentiate, what you're gonna get, you say differentiate whatever is in here is gonna give us a g prime and then over exactly what you have here. So I'm going to do the same game, differentiate what you have here, okay? So I'm going to say differentiate what you have here. So when you differentiate what you have, like say, differentiate what? 5x squared plus 1. I'm not supposed to do that. You have done aside, okay? Over, exactly, which is 
x squared plus 1. And then we say plus, now we come here, this is constant now, log of 5, x squared plus 1, and then we differentiate this. Negative is going to come back, it's going to be negative 1. Here, there's a modification, excuse me. Negative 1, they have x, negative 1 minus 1 is going to be negative 2. Okay, so multiply by y, multiply by y throughout. So now these are these constants. So dy dx equal to 1 over x. Okay, when you differentiate this, it's going to give you 10x. And when you differentiate 1, 0, because 1 is a constant number, right? So you just 10x, let me over 5x squared plus 1. But we know this x and 1x is going to go. So it's like 10 over 5x squared plus 1. And then we plus, now we come here. So this is like negative. Okay, look, it's negative x, negative 2. So this, let me say negative. When you reciprocate this, it's going to be x squared because you can bring to the bottom. So negative x squared. So it's good to write anything before long. I see it all the time. So I better write this before long. So it's going to be, since this is positive, it's going to become negative 1 over x squared. So negative 1 over x squared, and then multiply by log of 5, x squared plus 1, and remember, we multiply by y. But now we know the value of y, okay? The value of y is given equation. y equal to uh, x, 5, x squared plus 1. Okay, so the question is finished, man. I mean, it's finished already. So I can just say this, dy, dx, equal to 10x over 5x squared plus 1, and then minus all these divided by x squared. So none of x squared plus 1 bracket over x squared bracket times. Ooh. Ooh. I'm done. The question is done, man. Listen here, man. If it's a first time, you know, to visit my channel, make sure you click the like button, subscribe, and share to a lot of people. 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 Peace. Peace, peace. And a question, man, leave a, listen here, man, leave a comment, man, if you have an question, if this video was very, very helpful, please leave a comment so I can continue to support you guys, okay, it's very, very important, and click the subscribe button, okay, don't forget to do it, peace, thank you.